We turn now to California political news as we near the primaries in just a few weeks. Chair of the California GOP, Jessica Mullen Patterson, is here now in studio talking about voter registration and crime in California. Good morning, Jessica. Thanks for joining us in studio. We're not oh, on Zoom. To be in town. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Well, of course. Let's talk first about uh, some big news. Last night, we saw, I guess, one of the hottest races right now to fill Diane Feinstein's seat and that big debate with the candidates on stage. Your thoughts on performances? Well, we're really excited to have candidates in this race that can take California in a different direction on the national level. Um, this is something that, you know, with the top two primary here in California, it has been a challenge in previous administrations to have, make sure we have a Republican candidate that can be on the November ballot. So this is something that we've worked towards since I was elected. We've always had a Republican in every statewide race, and I'm hopeful that we get there come the primary. Well, and when you look at registration, I guess Republicans do have, even though still at registered two to one, I believe, there is still some good news news for Republicans as far as uh, those running or those registering currently. I mean, they seem to be registering more Republicans than Democrats in the state right now. Well, it's really exciting with the news that we have on voter registration. We've been able to out-register Democrats in the last report, and we saw Democrats go down about 30,000 in this last report, while Republicans gained 46,000. Um, so that's a delta of over 75,000. When you put in decline to states, they went down about 70,000. Now, when I was first elected chair in February of 2019, we were essentially the third largest party in the state. Decline to states, if they were an organized party, had more registrations than we did. And we rolled up our sleeves. We did the hard work that was necessary to make sure we were out there talking to people about issues that were important to them and re-registering them as Republicans. So despite 700,000 people leaving our state in 2022 alone, um, California Republicans have been able to gain over 620,000 new Republicans since I was elected in February of 2019. We gained Republican registration in every single assembly district, every single Senate district, every single Congress district and 56 out of the 58 counties. It's an exciting time to be a California Republican. Paul and I were having a conversation earlier and I promised I would ask <laughs> is you know even though there are definitely some bright spots uh, if you're a Republican looking at those numbers you just mentioned is it is it really all hope lost for for a Republican in a race like the California Senate race when you look at the number the sheer numbers of Democrats versus versus Republicans in the state and how blue this state is. I think it's definitely a heavy lift and I think it's an uphill battle. I'm excited that we have an outsider running um, that isn't a political person that can draw people from all types of parties. And that's exciting for Californians, not just Republicans. You mentioned issues that are important to Californians. We talked about crime in the Golden State. That has been an issue. We talked earlier with one of our judicial candidates. Uh, it seems that is something that is really hitting hard because probably all the social media ads or not ads but social media videos that people were seeing with you know these smash and grabs is that something that is striking a tone with voters and why they are perhaps voting for the candidate who seems to be more of a law enforcement candidate crime here in California continues to be a top issue for California voters and it's no reason it's no question why they're seeing it every day those smash and grab occurrences are happening every single day we're seeing something new we're seeing our business that we've loved and cherished in Democrat-run states that are closing their doors for good because the crime has gotten so bad. When you have Democrats that have championed Propositions 47, 57, AB 109, all soft on crime policies, pro-criminal policies, if you will, and when it's hard to get a bill across the finish line where you would make a sex trafficking of a minor a serious felony, um, there's something wrong with the Democrats up in Sacramento. So this is absolutely something that is ringing with California voters of all political stripes and it's something that we're talking about. What California Democrats have failed you on and what Republican solutions are. When you take a step back and you look at that and you look at the shift 
you know, I, I've heard a number of theories on both sides of the aisle. What do you say as to why the state seems to have shifted to be more in favor of criminals versus victim advocates? I would say that the Democrats have put together this narrative of a utopian area, and it just hasn't worked. It's been an experiment over the last decade, and it has failed us. We've seen what the repercussions are. And, you know, someone like Gavin Newsom wants to take what he's done here to our beautiful state and take it nationwide. Yeah. Well, Jessica, thank you so much. Anything we need to keep an eye on statewide that you're, that you're backing? Well, it's a really exciting time to be a California Republican. Definitely go visit CAGOP.org for all of our endorsements and everything up to date going into the primary. Most importantly, bank your vote. Get your ballot in. You already know what you're voting for. Get that ballot in. All right. Jessica Milan patterson thanks for the in-person visit. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, San Diego County finally getting a break from the wet weather, but rain could be back by the end of the week. After the break, Diana's going to have a full look at our forecast right here on Good Morning.